128. That's us. Morning, bud. It's gonna be a good day. All right, bud. Where's everybody going? Is there a derby today? Nah, we're just all kind of getting together. We're gonna have a school pow wow down here. Pull up on one of them sandbars. Yeah. Drink some beer. There's the general. Hi, general. Morning. 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 We are here with the Josh Weaver from Georgia, right? Uh, yeah. Where in Georgia? Macon, Georgia. Macon, Georgia. Born and raised. The town of the Almond Brothers. Is it? I love the Almond Brothers. I like almonds too. <laughs> What's up, bud? Well, give us a little pre-tournament report. Uh, probably the one of the worst practices I've ever had. Cup chances, not looking so good. We're just going out day four practice. Is it? Yeah. I got a little something going on. And I think I can catch 12 pounds. If I can get a big bite, I can add to it. And then we're gonna we're gonna do a lot of looking around after that. My two best bites come in that stupid pond weed, that crap weed. Uh, that, it looks like that type of stuff, but not, yeah. not quite there. But I fished two miles of it and got two bites. <laughs> got the double piece sign up. Trouble boys. We're about to get run over. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I was standing sideways. Too skinny. I didn't see you. Sorry about that. Good luck today, fellas. Oh no. Another one coming. Uh-oh, look out. Here he comes. That's Jeff Sprague. What's up, buddy? Now that guy, look, he's only got one, two, three, four rods out. That's a guy that's on him. Well, I wouldn't go that far, but that's when you know you keep it, you dumb it down, you can't go wrong. I got four out too. Good luck, Thanks, bud. There's one of the Canadians. Actually, that is the Canadian right there. There aren't any other Canadians. Jeff. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. How do you say hello in, in Canadian? <laughs> that would involve an F word, probably. What's that? That would involve some swear words, probably. Yeah. Oh no, here he comes. There he goes. Holy smokes, you can't fit any more rods on that deck than that guy's got. That green one, you're gonna catch him on that green one. All right guys, we're getting ready to roll here on the Mississippi River. We're in pool eight, blasting off. And we're about 128 today, we're due back at 445. So we got ourselves a good long day and um, He's on about 110, so we're just going to kind of ease our way down and get ready to blast off. Have an awesome day. I'm pretty excited about this one. Be a lot of looking around today. You know, I, I think I'd catch it in the 12-pound range, get five solid keepers doing what I was doing with that spinnerbait down there. And, and then from there, we're going to do a little practice and come out to the main river, jump some wing dams, and, and look around and try to figure something else out to add to tomorrow.
That's the kind you're looking for, too. Yep, glad I threw back there. That's fish number one. You want to stay another cast or two? Yeah, that's a keeper right there. Oh, yeah. Out in the middle there, oh, yeah. with big current breaks that you don't see that are about 8, 10 foot. You got him? Got him? Yep. I'm coming. Guys, just picked up number five here off a of beaver dam. Made about 15 casts that same spot and he finally bit. So we got a limit. Now we gotta work on getting rid of some fish. Alright, let's get him in the box. Alright, we got a limit. We got a limit, boys. We got a limit. That was a hard hard-earned limit. Joe? I got five. I think that might be all I got too. Oh, that's all I caught was five. One twenty-eight. Yes, sir. Thank you. Is that it? Nope. You got another flight? Yep. One more. Got one. You all set? You find them? Yeah, uh, thank you, Doc. Straight ahead of you. Maybe two and a half. I probably got about nine pounds. I 
That's it. Thanks, sir. It's yeah, I cool saw. When it, happened. it is awesome when it happened. I was happy for you. It wasn't you know, you me. I thought it was a four pounder, eh? So I was like, Were you yelling I giant? I was like, Yeah. It's flat, like I worked the plastic out and it flat, come out and flashed on it. And I was like, And the line just jumped. I'm like, This is the one. <laughs> it was a good upgrade, but it wasn't a giant. What's Hi. up? How are hey, you? Good, how you doing? Good to see you. You too. What'd you do? Hike today? No. No, Get... I didn't do anything today. It was cold. It was a little chilly. Yeah. I thought about it pants. It was getting colder each as the day was going on. Yeah, like noon I was like, I might put pants yeah. on. Yeah. But they, these fish are all up in bed, so I, I picked them apart, you know. I don't think they're there anymore. Stepping on it. <laughs> Twenty eight. Do you want that unzipped? How's your day going? Easy. Easy, easy, easy. A lot of little ones at least. You're not you're not wearing your arms out at least, right? Yeah. What? No. What the? Thirteen three quarters. Are you serious? I'm serious, you want? Let me show you both sides. Yeah. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> check that one. I'll check my board. Oh, well. Maine. Maine. It should have an MA there. It has four bass today, four fish. You're weighing in at seven pounds, seven ounces, seven, seven. You ready to get them on day two? Yeah, I'm gonna get them on day two. I'm kind of red in the face. I just had one uh, that measured short at the tank. That was the first time in my life I've ever done that. So I don't know what happened out there, but uh thought he was 14 inches. We got a courtesy board back there yeah. for you. Good luck yeah. to you, sir. Thanks. Grant Holderman <laughs> from Augusta, Kansas, fishing on the coiler side. He's yeah. bringing one back. So, to the what's up, bud? That's brutal. I hate that. Dude, I've never done that in my yeah, life. Yeah, I know it. It happens, though. I mean, be. some of the best guys in the business have done it. That's crazy. Like yeah. I thought for sure, a hundred percent, but I had all good ones. Yeah, yeah. That's the well, first time ever. You'll bounce back. I can't say that again after this. No, no. You got to get it out of the way. Yeah. Well, folks, never, ever in my life have I ever done that before or had that happen. And I always wondered how people, how that happens to people, or how people could be so dumb to do that. And it was clearly not even close. I must have looked at the wrong number on my board. That's crazy. Dude. I couldn't believe it. You see that? I wasn't even close. Wow. I, I had it, I had it something similar. I've never had that happen to me. That was that's crazy. That's just how it's been going. Day one Mississippi River in the books. Really just not a great day. <laughs> on a bunch of fronts i mean all i can do is laugh at it now but for the first time in ever no matter what level club level open level whatever level i brought in a short fish and took a penalty today so i lose the fish lose an extra i think it's a pound or something off off the other fish and uh pretty friggin' embarrassing to be honest with you i have no idea how it happened um the only thing I can think of is one of two things is one, I looked at the wrong number and just wasn't paying enough attention to the line when I threw it, when I measured it, or two, I might have measured it with its mouth open and it hit the line. But, you know, I've brought some fish in before that were right at the legal limit and, you know, I've measured them 
when I get one that's that close, I'll measure it again when I get in, and then I'll measure it on the complimentary board that they offer at the scales. You know, most tournament organizations offer one. But this one, I didn't even think twice about it because I thought it was good. So the only thing I could think of, you know, because I missed it by like quarter inch or half inch or something, is that I was looking at the 13 line thinking it was the 14 line. So that's pretty friggin' smart when you do something like that. But yeah, that was pretty embarrassing. Took a penalty, so ended up with uh, my bag that was around 10 pounds went to 7 pounds, 7 ounces, just like that. And uh, man, yeah. <laughs> um, I had a lot better practice, you know, if you watch the practice videos on, on my YouTube channel than that showed today. You know, conditions changed a lot. The river got really muddy with that 5 to 7 inches of rain we got the night before and um, it was considerably colder than the weather we've had for practice and stuff too so conditions changed and the current was ripping a lot harder too I still thought they were there you know I thought I could still catch them and it started out pretty good I caught three pretty quick and I thought it was gonna be easy just keep running that stuff but then it just kind of shut down and man, it was a tough day it was a grind I'm gonna have to do something different tomorrow I might I still might look at that area I haven't decided yet you know I should just scrap it all and just go find something new that I've never fished and and pick them off that way but um I'll think about it tonight what what the game plan is for tomorrow but I, I might do that just scrap it and run up to the next pool up or run down a pool or just go down to Stoddard you know I heard there's like 50 boats in there though I hate that you know, if that's where the fish are, that's where you got to be. So I'll work on the game plan a little bit better tonight. Pretty disappointed in, in what I caught today and what I think I should have caught there. You know, I thought I had a pretty good solid plan going, but maybe that extra current and the, that little bit of darker water just had them shut down. I think they were still in those current breaks and in those holes and on those edges. There's nowhere for them to go, but just didn't catch them. They weren't biting. I didn't catch them. Day one, done.